Okay, in this video, we are going to make a yin-yang symbol. So what we want to do is create a circle. I'm using the monoline brush. Let's bring it down to about 20%. There we go. I keep popping up to 21 because I'm not too steady. All right, and now we draw a circle in the middle of our canvas with the pen holding this ellipse. I tap on the screen, and that makes a nice circle shape, as you can see. Now, after lots of practice, I have determined that this one right here should be about 700. And as you can see, that makes it the line get a lot smaller. So I'm going to go up a layer. Let's put both of these layers down a little bit. And now I'm going to trace over my circle on the layer above, and that gets us the thicker line. And you can see why I use Drawing Assist, because I am not a steady drawer. And let's get it about that. All right. And now... It needs to be 700 by 700. This says 712 by 711, so I'm slightly off. I'm going to turn off the link here, type in 700 here, and then type in 700 here. And there we go. I can now clear out this one. and make this one merge down there. I'm going to center this. I've got the snapping uh, settings. Magnetics is on. Snapping is on. And I slide over here back and forth until I get a yellow line in the middle. And then I slide down I slide up until I get a yellow line in the middle. And now we know that this is perfectly centered. We now want to create another circle at about 175 pixels, or about one quarter of our circle. Not too bad, 190 by 189, we'll make it 170, whoops, 175 by 175, and that makes it a perfect circle. And we center that in the middle. Don't want to resize. Grab it way outside the shape so that it won't resize. And it looks like this one right here may not be perfectly centered. Let's go ahead and perfectly center it. There we go. All right, so that is one part of yin and yang. I'm going to merge these two layers together. And then I'm going to raise it up until the center line hits the bottom of the shape. And then I'm going to duplicate it. We'll take the bottom layer and slide it down. But only, we don't want it to hit the center line. We want it to merge in with the one above it. To do that, let's make sure we're going down. 
Then we're going to zoom in and we're going to change the transparency. Opacity to about 50% for each of these. And then we'll take the one here on the bottom and drag it down until it fits in exactly with the one above it. And now we want to go up a layer and we're going to create a circle that encompasses both of these. So I will use my shaky hand to try to make a circle. And what I'm going to do is change its opacity to around 50%. We're going to match them up at the bottom. Before we match this up at the bottom, we need to make sure that it's centered on the left to right. There we go. Now, let's match it up at the bottom. There we go. And then we're going to resize match it up at the top. Not going to have to resize it by much. You grab this handle and you move it until the overlap is perfect there. And we have our yin yang symbol started. Now, what we want to do is remove the lines that we don't need. What we're going to be doing is creating a figure. Well, it has the yin and it has the yang. So let's go up to our top middle circle and erase the parts we don't need. You can change the size of your eraser to something larger if you like. I'm just going to leave mine where it is for now. And as you can see, we now have the yin all made up. Yang, of course, seems to have a little bump in it, so let's go ahead and take care of that. We go down to the bottom layer, which is the bottom donut circle, and we get rid of everything there that we don't want. Just like that. And we have made the outline for our yin and yang. We're going to change the opacity to max on all three of these layers. And then we're just going to merge them down. Now, because there's only three layers, I'm going to tap and merge down, tap, and merge down. You can try pinching them together. I find it difficult to pinch less than four layers together, so I do the merge down. Now that we have this nice little symbol here, we are going to color the top dot and the bottom, what I call fish. And we have a yin-yang symbol. I'm going to duplicate this, and what we're going to do is we're going to change this into a stamp brush. So we're going to turn this off. We're going to make sure that the magnetics is off for the snapping, and we'll say fit to screen, and then we're going to invert. Now remember, for a brush, everything that is white 
is going to be a solid color and everything that is black or in this case clear is going to have no color at all. So I copy this layer and let's go up to my shapes and duplicate the top one here. And we go to the shape, edit, import, paste. Done and done. About this brush. In game. And create a new reset point right there. So now, if we go up to our layer 4, which, as you can see, says that that layer is empty, and we tap, we can get all these different size yin-yang symbols. If you want to get really creative, make a nice big one. Go up a layer. Make it go way down. That one is a little bit too small. Let's go up. There we go. One there. And one there. And actually, I want to go up a layer. And do one there. That way we can resize this. And we'll do the same over here. There we go. And then we take this one and erase, turn the opacity back up. We're going to take, I'll get rid of that, there we go. Let's take this one and tell it to invert. And that way, you've got an interesting little design there. Uh, you now have a new shape brush in your shape library called Yin Yang. Always nice to have new brushes. Here's something you can do with that. I'm going to turn all these layers off. We're going to create a new layer. I'm going to duplicate this, and the stroke path I'm going to move down. Under Properties, I am not going to use the Stamp Preview. So now what we have is this brush that has a weird snake-like quality. Let's move these out a little bit. And now we have Yin Yang Line Brush. And if we take that Yin Yang Line Brush, And we put a pressure taper on it, then it should taper according to how hard we go, and I'm not seeing that. So it must not be taper that does that. Let's go to Apple Pencil, 
and do it by size here pressure size oh let's go 70 done and we go light and then heavy and then light and you can have varying sizes of yin yang so we'll call this yin yang taper you can actually do this with any of your stamp brushes it's a good way if you want to have a symbol that creates a border if you want it to be a solid border just all the same size and we're going to hold that edit that shape we're going to make it into a square and then done of course if you change your background color it's going to change the inside of that symbol so you choose a white brush you select outside do an invert go down one layer and fill it and that did not seem to work let's see why ah because it's going inside the lines so we're going to do the selection threshold down until it is not selecting inside those lines do an invert and fill and now you have your square of yin yang symbols if you don't want the unevenness that we are getting over here over here over here over here you can see where it's overlapping on these if you don't want any of that let's take our brush and we're just going to go down duplicate it rotate it 45 degrees twice and just slide this until it looks like it's about the same there we go and we can duplicate this brush and we go down I'm using the snapping so I'm looking for that blue line there we go and then we will select freehand just this piece of this one merge these down together select automatic invert fill that layer and because I accidentally made this one white we'll tell it to invert and now you have a nice little square border of yin yang symbols um, well I hope that if you have any questions you will put them below there and I hope you enjoy this brush and that you have a wonderful day